Since the beginning of time and the dawn of civilization, people have been saying uh, just weird, ridiculous stuff at the beginning of their videos to draw viewers in. But here we have another drawing, as usual. Another video of me drawing, that is. This time, however, I did uh, start a little differently. I have a bunch of these little different rolls of, I think it's called washi tape. Um, and I just started putting the little rolls of washi tape or little bits of tape from the rolls down the paper in random little segments and, um, seg well, no, just segments, um, sections, I guess. And uh, no planning or purpose, really. Well, I did have a purpose, but no pan planning. And so I put them down. Um, so the, you see, there's a, they were colorful. This this drawing, my drawings are not normally very colorful. I fully acknowledge that. This drawing was, for a brief moment, extremely colorful. Um, and then, so after I put the, the tape down, these little pieces of washi tape, I I splashed out some ink, some ink washes. The ink washing is fun. It's, uh, you know, I don't normally do this. Normally when I draw, I draw each line very carefully, um, very... Um, I don't know, I, don't, I wouldn't say calculated, because I don't really calculate it, but everything is very, very under control, right? And when I put down these ink washes, it's like a little exercise of letting go and um, just seeing how how the drawing wants it to happen. And I don't know, I like it. Anyway, so I put down the tape, and then I splashed down some ink washes in a few different ways. I used these water brushes, and it was a lot of fun. Uh, these water brushes, I put water inside them, and then I would dip the tip in, in ink, and you can use different ways to water it out different ways. I don't know. It's hard to explain. It's fun. It's just one of those things you've got to mess with on your own and experiment and see how it goes. I don't know, even know how you're supposed to do it, how the makers intended you to do it. No idea, but it worked out all right for me. I'm happy with it. Anyways, after I had splashed out a bunch of this ink wash, I think you could also achieve a similar effect with watercolors. Um, I, I pulled the tape back up, and uh, it left a pretty cool pattern on the paper. I was pretty excited with it, excited about it. And, excuse me, and then I kept drawing. I, um, with, uh, you know, like on top of all of that. Um, here and there, I did go back with some more ink washes wherever I felt was needed. And uh, it came out with something, you know, that I, I don't think I could have ever uh, really accomplished otherwise. You know, but if I had done it otherwise without the tape, I would have... You know, it, that would have been just fine because I would have accomplished something, just something, I would have accomplished something else and something else would have been all right too. You know, whatever, whatever you do, it's all right. Just, just do something. Just do something. Yeah, it's good. Just, just don't do, don't do nothing. Something is better than nothing. That's, that's for sure. But I like this. It, like putting the tape on the paper. I put the tape down. Um, I kind of have wanted what I need to go do is try buying some masking, what's it called, masking fluid? What are like, I feel like watercolor artists use this stuff. I don't know if that's the real word for it. Masking, masking goo? It's like you put it down on the, on the paper and then you, you paint your watercolor stuff and then you like rub the, you like rub it off, um, you peel it off the paper and you, you have all this stuff where the water didn't go. I, I'm not, I'm, sometimes I'm very bad at explaining things. But I, I feel that if I, I will the information to you, uh, you know, if I will it hard enough, maybe you'll understand. Um, okay, do you understand? Okay, good. All right, so anyways, I, I, I did with the tape what I wished I could have done with the masking fluid and uh, maybe next time I will try a masking fluid in the future if I go to the store and remember to buy it. Lots of times I think, next time I go to the arts and crafts store, I will buy this, this, and that. And then sometimes I wander in there and I walk out with something totally different. So I don't, I don't know how it works. Life is, life is weird. Life is strange. Not the video game, but just actual life is strange. Yeah. But I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. I wasn't happy. I was not happy with this drawing for a lot of the drawing. Like during, like the middle three quarters of this drawing for the first one eighth of it and the last one eighth of it, I was more happy with it than I was for the middle three quarters of it. For the middle three quarters of it, I was pretty unhappy with it. Um, and that's all right. That happens to me fairly frequently. 
actually. So don't get too discouraged, okay? That's normal, at least for me. I don't know how things are for other people, but it's okay. Don't get discouraged. Just keep plowing on. Um, you're still making things. You're still learning things, and you're still improving, whatever improving means. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, all right, goodbye.